one day, actually I was here in LA on vacation, had an idea, oh, we should do a hip hop concert where all the walls are like footwear, like me and a few friends, all our collections just displayed. And we started the show about 10 years ago in Australia with about 100 pairs of like rare limited edition shoes. And, and in that time, we've done about three or 400 shows all around the world. What made you come out here? Just music. I love music, shoes. That's a good mix already, so I'm with it. I like to network. I give Mozilla cool kicks, you know, like all the, the, the Air Mag, the Supreme, SBs. Oh man, I came to check out all the shoes, basically see what I can find. I'm looking forward to the shoes. Uh, I want to find the Freddy Kruegers. events all the time and I see you guys all the time. I'm tired of seeing you guys all the time. I want to see some ladies into the game, you know what I'm saying? Something a little different, I understand. We need to start recruiting more girls into the sneaker I'm here with uh, Vince from uh, SoulSociety.com and uh, Vince, why don't you show them a little bit of um, your interesting socks and keychains you got here. We're doing all Jordan 1 through 18, custom little keychains. About two inches big. We also do uh, customization of Nike Elite socks. We customize these to any design. If you have special designs you want done, we can do that. So check us out, soulsociety.com. What's up, everybody? Um, I got my boy Ree right here with some amazing, amazing artwork that he's done. Just recently, you might have heard him on a Sports Rap Live. Also, you know, he's been mentioned by H Town Sneaker Summit. And uh, we're going to talk to Ree and see what he has to say. Ree? Yo. Uh, tell us a little bit about your artwork and uh, what what's the story behind everything? Well, you know, it's called SNEDS, and uh, that means sneaker plus heads equals SNEDS. I started in 2010. I'm still going strong. I'm on all the major sneaker websites, and uh, every time I drop some, it's usually centered around a hype release, aka hype kicks, and uh, that's how I put it down. Now, what, what inspires you to do your drawings? Just new releases or whatever you're feeling at the time or... I mean, it could be a situation, you know, kind of like this artwork I have here. You know, it's inspired by uh, Kanye's latest shoe, you know, the Air to Easy 2, but also played off a theme that was created by the Air Jordan 1, which is the Old Love, New Love. So that's why I call this piece Old Love, New Love, because this is Kanye's old love, and this is his new love. This is old shoe. This is new shoe. I got my boy Swizzy here with Soul Clinics. He's going to tell you a little bit about what he does. Swizzy, tell me exactly what you do. Uh, we at Soul Clinics, we restore just about any sneaker from top to bottom. We can do it for detail work to basic work. If you look here, the sole, the midsole actually, has deteriorated uh, completely. So we, what we went ahead and did was installed a brand new midsole so this shoe can become wearable. And that's pretty much our goal is to bring back any retro sneaker that you uh, may still have from the late 80s, early 90s, even early 2000s that are no longer wearable. Now, what you do, really nobody has done. Like, nobody has actually executed, executed it very well or actually attempted to do this. Now, how long have you been doing this? I, myself, have been restoring sneakers since 2001. I chose to restore sneakers just because I wasn't the one that can buy new sneakers every other weekend or every other, uh, every other day. So I went ahead and restored just about every pair of shoe that I have so that it can be um, as close to new as possible. We do have a website available. It's www.soulclinics.com. Vision, ambition, and revolution. We're here with United Schemers. You know, United Schemers, usually schemers, people think they're out for the individual, trying to kind of take what's theirs. So we're saying you got to have that schemers mentality, but become united. We get our inspiration for our designs from politics, you know, music, hip hop, uh, the street life, street wear. And that's kind of, you know, we're trying to flip it, make it a you know, positive message from our brand. Uh, UnitedSkimmers.com is our online shop right now. We got a winter collection dropping in November. We're gonna have some fly panels, some new designs. We're also looking to hook up a pop-up store maybe sometime next summer. I'm right here at Sneaker Pants LA with uh, Jason Marks here to tell you some little bit about his product. We make a premium shoe cleaner 
and it's all natural, so it's safe to use on all materials. Suede, nubuck, cotton mesh, leather, premium leather, everything. What's, I guess you say, the, the toughest material for you to clean? A lot of people think that uh, suede, I mean, that's the most common thing, but it actually works really well on suede if you, as long as you follow the directions. Uh, for me, the toughest material is actually canvas. Canvas, like cotton canvas, it, like, it's very absorbent, so the stains like really just like hang on. Like, the biggest mistake people do is when they, when they clean suede, they just use too much water. Follow the directions as, uh, as on the bottle, but before you start scrubbing, you have to use our, uh, our softer hog bristle premium brush. So you're gonna dip it in the water, apply the solution, and then you're gonna shake out as much water as possible. Like, like you, you, you want the bristles just wet enough to still barely create foam. And then once you uh, scrub, uh, you wanna take like a clean dry cloth or a microfiber towel and, and back brush towards the back of the shoe. Um, let it air dry, and then once it's air dry, you can, you can continue to back brush to restore the nap even, even more. Uh, what's your Instagram and what's your Twitter? Our Instagram and Twitter are the same. It's at Jason underscore, underscore Mark with two Ks. What's up everybody, I'm here with Blake Carrington and Blake's gonna tell us a little bit about himself and his fancy watch. Yo, what's up man, it's your man Blake Carrington, rapper producer from Toronto and Buffalo, representing everybody out there with a goal and a dream. Stay inspired. Now, this lovely watch on my wrist is an OLD screen watch. A lot of people say, you know, I rap. They give you a CD, flyer, sticker and shit. I'm like, listen, I rap. I ain't got to do all that. Bow. You feel what I'm saying? Get it. Bye out. Bow. You got a website or anything that they can find you? Yes, BlakeCarringtonsWorld.com. And my Twitter is at CarringtonWorld. If you can't find me on Twitter, then I'm lounging with your girl. Bam.